Well, who will sit in the vacant District 4 seat now that Patty Cummins is suspended from Cape Coral City Council? And today was the last day for the candidate interviews, and in just five days, a new representative will be appointed to take the vacant seat once occupied by Patty Cummings. Back in November, Governor DeSantis suspended her after she was arrested. Cummings is accused of lying about where she lived when she won her seat on the council. The Night Beach Justin Case joins us now live from the Cape Coral City Hall. And Justin, you spoke with the council members and hopeful candidates. Does council seem confident they will find the right person? Yeah, I spoke with two city council members and council member Tom Hayden explained that each of the 13 candidates hoping to fill that vacant district four seat is qualified. He said they have vastly different backgrounds, everything from law enforcement to real estate. And we were able to speak with one of those candidates hoping to fill the seat who revealed two of the focal points during the interview process. I think about it in a comprehensive way, which is why I think I would be a good fit for city council. Karen Solgard is a loan officer who's called Cape Coral home for the last 12 years. She's taken every opportunity to learn about the Cape, its government, and the biggest issues it faces. She's one of 13 hopefuls vying for the vacant District 4 seat. I participated in the city program called Citizens Academy, Cape Coral Citizens Academy, where for eight weeks you go from one department to the other and you learn about city government. And with that knowledge, it helped me do my job as a loan officer. I know about the flood maps. I know about insurance. I know about permitting. I asked her what the most common questions were from council members during the interview process. She explained their primary focus appeared to be on big issues like the Yacht Club and J.C. Park. Council member Tom Hayden confirmed he asked about those topics, but says the ideal candidate needs to be future oriented. What I told them was uh, that this particular council, I believe, is um, set with planning the city for the next 10 to 20 years, not just for tomorrow. Hayden explained this is the fourth time he'll be a part of filling a vacant seat on council over the last several years, but he's optimistic things will get back to normal soon. Now we're in this situation where we have to fill um, this, this seat again, but I think uh, having eight people that collectively understand what the goals and uh, vision and mission of the city uh, is is crucial and I think this group has uh, been able to keep that focus. In the meeting to appoint the next city council member for District 4 here will take place next Wednesday. Each candidate will have an opportunity to give a presentation that's three minutes and then each council member can ask questions to each of the candidates. Again, that, that meeting to appoint District 4 seat is here next Wednesday. It will be the final agenda item. Live on the Night Beat, Justin Case, Wink News.